Hello everyone. I am Dr. Ajay Kumar MV. I am the Deputy Director of Center for Operational Research in International Union Against Tuberculosis and Lung Disease. In this presentation, I am going to give an overview of what Module 2 is all about. Now before I begin, I want to acknowledge two special people. One, Professor Hans L. Reeder, who is a renowned name in the world of tuberculosis. He is a well-known TB epidemiologist and is the original designer of this particular module. In fact, most of the course content that we will be using is originally drafted by Hans. The second person I want to thank is Jens Lauritsen, who is really the father of the software Epidata. This software which uh, we will be using in this particular module 2. What's the purpose of module 2? The purpose of module 2 is to provide an introduction to efficient, quality assured data capture and analysis using Epidata software. Now each word is important there. The first thing is this is a course which covers both data capture and analysis. Unlike most courses where only analysis is focused, here we emphasize a lot on the quality of data and the scope of preventing errors during data entry. Now that is what is meant by quality assurance. How can we ensure that all the processes that we use for data entry and analysis are as error free as possible? And not only error free, but also auditable, you know. So we will go in great details about this particular term, how to ensure quality. And we also want it to be as efficient as, as possible. We want it to be rapid, uh, consume less manpower, less time and be accurate. So that is the purpose of this particular course. And we are going to use a software called Epidata for all our purposes. It's an open access, free software, free to download, free to distribute, free to teach. So in terms of content, clearly there are three components in this particular module. One is data entry, two, data analysis, three, presentation of data. Especially from the perspective of presenting data in a scientific manuscript, which is intended to be published in a peer-reviewed scientific journal. So in terms of outcome, by the end of six days of this module, you need to have developed a draft instrument for electronic data entry, which is linked to your respective research protocol. That is what we want to achieve. And also we need to lay out a plan of analysis, including the dummy tables and dummy graphs. So this is thinking ahead as to how your analysis is going to look like. So in terms of milestone for this module, uh, at the end of two weeks after the completion of this module, you have to submit us three things. One is the data documentation sheet. Don't worry if you don't understand what it is now, we will go into those details. The, the second thing you have to submit is the Epidata triplet files, which is really the, the database which will be used for data entry and the dummy analytic shells. These are the three things you are going to submit for fulfilling milestone related to module two. What do you expect in module two? What are the things that we are going to cover? As I told you, three things, data entry, data analysis, and data presentation. As I told you, there will be a lot of emphasis on how to ensure quality during data capture. This is probably one of the most neglected aspects in research methodology and as rightly called, referred to as the Cinderella of research methods. So in this course, we are going to learn a lot about how to ensure quality and minimize data entry errors. We will use a software called Epidata Entry and use it to uh, achieve quality assured data capture. We will learn uh, some basic concepts of data analysis and we will also learn how to use Epidata software to perform basic data analysis. 
um, we will learn how to calculate some summary statistics like mean, median, standard deviation, interquartile range, range, proportions, frequencies. We will also learn how to calculate some inferential statistics like how to calculate confidence intervals around the mean, around the proportion and around several measures of effect like odds ratios, relative risk, how to run tests, statistical tests of significance like t-test, chi-square test. So these are the things that we are going to learn in this particular module. So in terms of content, the way we have planned is that the first two days we are going to focus on data entry. The second two days, that is day three and four, we will focus on analysis. Day five, we are going to work on our individual research projects. Each one of you will apply the lessons learned in this particular course onto your research projects and develop data collection instruments for your particular research project. And in day on day six, we have a plenary where you will be presenting your outputs to the entire group here and seek their feedback. And hopefully that will improve the product that you have developed. Okay, I have to clarify what not to expect in module two. If you are expecting that we are going to teach you advanced methods of data analysis like logistic regression, Cox proportional hazards model, modeling techniques, and other things, probably this is the wrong place. Remember, this is operational research and we take pride in being simple. And we may not require these special skills on most occasions. But if your particular research question requires this kind of analysis, we will help you in those specific situations on a case-to-case -case basis. The other thing uh, not to expect in module two is, we are not going to provide you any access to proprietary data analysis softwares like SPSS, Tata, SAS, etc. We are going to use a software called Epidata, which is free, open access, free to download, learn, teach, and distribute. In terms of tasks between the module two and module three, each of you must go back, finish your study, collect all your data, finish data entry, and run a draft analysis. And you have to submit your clean data set and your draft tables and figures to your respective mentors six weeks before the final module when we will bring you to put it all to, to all together in the form of a scientific manuscript so six weeks before that module we want to receive your data sets and analysis now that's going to be the next milestone in this particular course in terms of future opportunities um, Outstanding participants from each batch have an opportunity to undergo advanced training in Epidata. So we will let you know as and when these courses get notified. There is a great opportunity if you are interested to come back into our future courses and facilitate and groom yourself as the future mentor. There are opportunities to present your work in international conferences. So if you fulfill all the milestones and have a paper, and have that particular paper accepted for presentation in an international conference, we will support your travel and, and all other support required to do so. In terms of ground rules for this course, I think these are very important uh, to ensure that we go through the whole course in a smooth way. The first thing is, you know, this is an interesting quote which my supervisor used to tell me that mind is like a parachute both work properly only when they are open. So this is the first principle in this course. Please be open to learn and relearn. Maybe you have learned this before. Maybe you know some other tools which are better than this. But please come with an open frame of mind, a clean slate, willing to relearn even if you have learned it before. There is no harm in relearning. And please be patient and help your friend to learn. This is something I often find with fast learners. They get the point fast and then they get bored. So if you get the point fast, please help the person next to you 
to learn. Remember, the success of the entire cohort is important for us, not individual. So I would encourage you to support your peers. Take responsibility for not only achieving your milestone, but also that of your friends. If you don't understand, please ask. Don't shy away from asking questions. Just raise your hand at any point and ask questions. The other ground rule is in this particular course, we will be giving you a lots of exercises in class as well as for some home, home assignments. So be honest about doing these exercises because the module that we have given you also has solutions readily available. Plus, please refer to the solutions only after you have tried doing exercises. That will enhance your learning experience. And, and I'm needless to say, please do not involve or indulge yourself in unnecessary browsing, chatting, social media platforms, emails, mobile phones, as long as you are in this hall and in this course. Remember, this is a course to learn a new skill. This is going, you are going to learn a software called Epidata. And if you pay good attention, probably you will learn an important skill for your life, which will help you data enter as well as analyze in, an, in a very efficient, quality assured fashion. So if you want to get this, one of the techniques I use is revision. So revise, revise and revise as much as possible. Even in class, we will be revising. We will be doing recaps every often. For example, at the end of each day, I'm going to give a um, summary of what has happened in the day. And every morning, we are going to begin with a recap of what happened the previous day. So there will be lots of scope for revision. And, you know, we have shared many videos of this uh, particular course that we have done previously. Please make use of them and keep revising. Remember, we are here to help you achieve your milestones, but we set high standards and are very strict about achieving milestones. And if you fail to achieve them, we can't help you but disqualify from the course. And we don't want that to happen to anyone. So please remember, be sincere and walk away with a great learning. Thank you.